Hey y'all, here to vlog um about the sisterhood BGC Atlanta and Snooky and Jay Wow. I apologize for not vlogging yesterday when I got in from doctor's appointments I was pooped and you know MJ was cranky so I didn't really wanna vlog with all that chaos. It was enough going on. And I couldn't really watch all of the shows like I wanted to, so I'm going to have to watch a couple of them over. But I, I'll vlog about those three, because those are the three that I actually was able to like sit and watch the majority of. Um, I hope you guys can hear me, because I got the humidifier on. Um, MJ has a slight cold, so I put the humidifier on to like break up the stuffiness in my room. But let's get right down to it. I'm going to start with... Bad Girls Club Atlanta. It came on last night. I missed some of the, the casting. So like I only saw like towards the end of the casting the um the girls that were entering the mansion. But I was able to watch the whole episode of Bad Girls Club. I feel like this season is gonna annoy me. Just for the simple fact that these girls are like the definition of ratchet and I was expecting for you know every season the girls they got crazy issues but now now bad girls club is like taking a turn for the worse when the show first came out it was really about girls who had psychological issues anger issues um you know just problems problems like you know being around other people and they came there to work on those issues. Now it's just all about who can be the dominant female in the house, who has minions, who is, you know, the biggest whore, who's bisexual, who's this, who's that. It's all the same thing each season and it's like getting annoying, but I'll try and give this season a chance. I gave last season a chance and I mean last season was good but it was annoying too, like just the girls are just it's like with each season the girls just become dumber and dumber but I'll talk about the girls all right first and foremost Janae I don't think I'm gonna like Janae this season she's annoying she's a sloppy ass drunk like they were only in the house for like five minutes and they went out and they were only in the club for like five minutes and already she was drunk and they had some they they left she was drunk and it, it seemed like to me she expected for people to babysit her and she just was like loud and belligerent and just annoying just annoying annoying she just her voice is annoying it seemed like she's trying to act hard and she's really not like throughout the whole episode. She, I'm from Houston, 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 Houston. You got a problem with Houston? Don't nobody care. Oh God, she, she just annoying. Um, the next person is Paula. I like Paula. Paula, Paula got style, and she seemed like she's like a ride or die type of friend. So I might like her this season. You know, she wore a nice cat suit and everything when she walked in. Like I was like, all right, hey girl. <laughs> But yeah, I think I'm gonna like Paula, but we'll see as the, the season progresses. Cause usually I like like a certain type of person in the beginning of like a show or something, and then towards the end they do a complete 180. So we'll see. Nikki, Nikki is cool, but it kind of seems like she's trying too hard to be hard too, but. I mean, maybe that's her, maybe it's not. She's cool, but that girl is built like a dude. Like, she, her gut is like flat at the top, big at the bottom. She has no ass, but the camera, they kept putting the camera on her no ass last night. And I'm like, come on. But she like shaped like a dude. But Nikki is cool. I, I like Nikki. She just... She just shaped weird. <laughs> but Nikki's cool. I like Nikki. Um, Valentina, the one that's from Nigeria, 
she's pretty, but she seemed like she's going to be a bit of a snob because she came in the house talking about people already. I think she said something about, um, I think she said something either about Shannon or Nikki. I can't remember who, but she seems like a little bit of a snob. Like she knows she's pretty. So, you know, she, she, she's like, it seems like she's the type that can, that feel like she can put down others just to make herself feel better. But we'll see. I could be wrong. Stephanie, out of all the girls, I like Stephanie the most because she's gorgeous and she keeps it real. Like, she's real cool or whatever. Like, she's just there to have fun, to make out with all the girls. But she, you know, she seems like she's pretty cool, too. Um, last but not least, Duckface Shannon. That child looks like plastic on top of plastic on top of plastic. Whoever her surgeon is, she needs to shoot him. How you get implants and your titties lopsided? They lopsided and they look hard. I'm like, ew. When she walked in the house, I was like, oh no. Her shoes was bad though. Don't get me wrong. I liked her shoes, but she's ugly. She's ugly. She sounds like a dude and her titties are lopsided. <laughs> But um, overall, last night's episode was okay. It seems like with the episode, everybody's just getting fed up with Janae. And I agree. So if they try to send her home next episode, you'll be doing the world a favor. Because she was annoying in this episode. So I'll just see what happens next Tuesday. Moving right along. Sorry, I keep looking this way. I'm checking on MJ. He's asleep in his bassinet. So. Uh, the Sisterhood. Last night's episode annoyed me and it made me sad at the same time. We all know why the show was annoying. Tara and Brian. Now I'm starting to see what, um, because I follow Ashley Shaw Miller on Twitter and I watch her, her vlogs on YouTube. You know, look her up. Everything of hers is Ashley Shaw Miller. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Everything her husband's, and she be speaking some deep stuff. She's, you know, good at vlogging and catching a lot of stuff. Because me, I be tweeting and watching the show at the same time. So I miss a lot of stuff. And then I watch her vlogs, and she catches stuff that I missed, you know. So, I, you know, she's she's good. Follow, subscribe to her, follow her, whatever. <laughs> but, um, I'm starting to see what she meant by... In her last vlog about the sisterhood, she said something like how Brian feels like he's obligated to say certain stuff because he's married to Tara, who's a black woman. Like he said something yesterday, like, yeah. And I mean, I know he be joking, but it's like, sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's not. And I like them as a couple. Like, I like that they're, you know, they're different, they're unique, but... At the same time, it's like they both trying too hard to be unique. Like, he says something like, call me Pastor B. Diddy or something like that. And I kind of looked at the TV sideways like, okay. But they're trying to do this show called Phenomenal Life Today. They're trying to do that together. And it seemed like they don't know what the hell they doing. And, you know, everybody else is giving them advice. And it's like they really don't want to hear it. But it's like, if you don't know what the hell you doing... Your best bet would be to just take the advice of people who might know more than you, who could give you pointers, but whatever. And when Dominique took Tara to get a new wardrobe, I felt like I felt like Dominique shouldn't have even did it for her because Tara didn't really appreciate it. In my opinion, she didn't appreciate it. Like it's just the way she was acting, and then it seemed like she was trying to tell. Dominique how to dress her how to do her hair and whatnot and I'm sitting here thinking if you look at Dominique Dominique is like the best dressed like she's the one that the, like basically to me the only first lady who's like the best dressed on the show so 
if I was Tara, I would take heed into a lot of what, you know, Dominique is saying and doing because Dominique is pretty. In my opinion, Dominique looks like a little, she don't look old, but she looks like an older version of Nicki Minaj. So, but I mean, even though, because I know Dominique be feeling so, like a certain way towards Tara, she just don't really pay it any attention. But it seems like even though she does feel that way about Tara, she'd still take the time out of her day to help out, you know, somebody she considers a friend. And that's why I like Dominique. Um, I'm going to get back to Dominique in a minute. But when I was watching, when Ivy was talking about having another baby, but, um... But she, she probably can't because she might have endometriosis or something like that. My heart broke for her. Because, I mean, I know how, you know, I know how, um, like how anxious it might be, like, like to feel, to want to have another baby, but you're not sure if you can because of a health issue. And it's just sad. And I, I, you know, I felt bad because she had to go through surgery and all of that so I just I pray that everything went good for her because her, her husband deserve another baby their son Mark Allen is already an adorable little thing so I pray that they get their next baby uh, when they did the um the cardboard testimonies I kind of like that like you know it's like it's like you saying what what happened in your past and that made you a better person today because you found God or whatever that's you know that was a good that was a good event to do you know I, I thought it was nice some people was like it was stupid I thought it was nice I mean it's a nice idea but um now to Dominique I feel so bad for her because she had to pawn her wedding ring and her wedding ring is gorgeous, but what I'm not understanding is like, why do you have to do all of that and you have your boutique and everything? So she must not be making like good enough money in her boutique if she had to pawn her wedding ring. And her wedding ring was beautiful. Like she had a beautiful wedding ring, but that's sad. Like that, I felt so bad for her. I felt so bad for her. I just just watching stuff like that on this show like I just pray like you know just things work out and it should I mean they they have these girls have a strong faith like they you know they, they firm believers in God they're first lady so you know I just pray each lady you know something works out for them and I'll be tuning in next week so that's all I really have to say about the sisterhood now to my girls, Snooki and Jay Wow, who don't know they my girls yet, but they gonna find out soon. <laughs> uh, I got to watch this episode, and it started off with Snooki leaving her baby shower and um calling Gianni to find out where he's at, and she finds out that he's in the hospital. So she's like super duper worried about him, and um Gianni's mom is like, "No, go home, rest. You're pregnant." I'll check on him and I'll keep you posted. But Snooky's like, I don't care if I'm eight months pregnant. We need to be together. Which is, that's the way to think. I mean, not to say you don't care about your health and the well-being of your baby, but that is the father of your child. So I was with Snooky 100%. And she went there. She stayed with him at the hospital. They came home together. They fell asleep. So, you know, I thought that was good. Now moving on to uh just real quick to J Wow and her friend your niece. Am I the only one who just feels like your niece rubs them the wrong way? Like I feel like she she's the one that's trying to like start up conflict with Roger and J Wow, but J Wow is not having it. J Wow is like, you can sit up here and try and play this boyfriend versus best friend game. You're going to lose because that's my man. Like, this is the man I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. And I agree. I mean, yeah, you know, she's your best friend, but she was pissy ass drunk. And it's obvious she don't know how to hold her liquor. So she got stupid at the party and called him. I think she called him a douchebag or something like that. And he made a joke with her. 
that she didn't get so she got mad so she gonna say to jy in the car oh well i'm your best friend and he needs to respect that yeah but they're in a relationship yes you're her friend and i'm sure you're gonna be there for her for like you know for however long y'all remain friends but don't try to come between her and her man that's not fair to her and that's stupid to try and do but Jay Wall herself says she might even have to distance herself from Eunice. And you know what? I ain't mad at her. So, um, and then when Roger and, and Jay Wall were speaking and he said that, you know, he doesn't really have too much of a problem with her. But he said he had a joke. You know, it was a joke that he made and she didn't like, she didn't like what he said or she didn't catch on. So she got mad. And Roger's basically like, okay, whatever. Like, you know, if you don't speak to me again, it's whatever. And I feel him like, first of all, you was at their house. So, you're getting mad at him because he made a joke that you didn't get because you were drunk. You were drunk as shit. And you just, you got stupid. And I, and I just wish, like, for people that get drunk like that, and if you know you go from zero to 60 when you're drunk then why drink like that know your limit don't get stupid don't get belligerent when you drunk because it's not a good look ain't nobody gonna want to be around you ain't nobody gonna want to party with you nothing so i don't know i'm not really feeling your niece and apparently neither is jay wow and roger but uh moving on to jenny in the jewelry store looking at rings the rings that she looked at were nice but two i think one of them that she looked at i think with the pink diamonds two million dollars for that ring oh my goodness i mean yeah that's a dream ring but i'm pretty sure you could go someplace else and probably get that a little cheaper i mean but the ring was pretty it was a pretty ring it was like a pretty um i think it was it looked like white gold like the band was white gold and in the middle it was a diamond and on the sides it was two pink diamonds and they were it was pretty it was it was a pretty ring but two million dollars oh my god and that was only the engagement ring but i mean her and roger are engaged congrats to them i just hope he didn't spend two million dollars on that ring even though it was a pretty ring but that's too much money but um back to snooki when they were going through Lorenzo's gift from the baby shower I laughed because he he got a lot of stuff so I'm pretty sure you know they had a lot of unpacking to do but I'm pretty sure Lorenzo is set like he got a lot of stuff probably still getting some stuff but Lorenzo got a lot of stuff which is good I mean it's always good to have more you know more than enough stuff than less because I mean I know when I had my baby shower and um, people couldn't make it they were still like well I'm gonna bring you this out could you use a walker could you use this and I'm like give it to me I'm not gonna tell you no you know I, I think it's stupid for you to like cuz I've heard stories of people who offer to give new moms stuff for their new baby and they tell them no I don't want that who am I to tell you no you're giving me something it's you're like you don't have to do it you are out of the kindness of your heart giving it to me so I'm gonna be appreciative and I'm gonna take it whether I need it or not I'm still gonna take it baby stuff is re is recyclable because somebody is always having a baby so even if you don't use it you could pass it along to somebody who can I think it's stupid to say no but that's just me but going back to Snooky he got a lot of stuff and you know, I thought it was cute when Roger put on the carrier, and it was hilarious when Snooky was like, maybe I should try and pump now. Trust me, Snooks, if you'd have tried to pump when you was eight months pregnant, it probably would have hurt it. Because, I mean, I didn't pump when I was pregnant. I never even thought to do that. I didn't even want my boobs touched when I was pregnant because you could feel the milk coming to your ducts in your breasts and it's like a sharp pain that hits your boobs and it would do that that would happen to me like once twice a week and i hated it i hated it oh my god so more power to you snooki you want to see if milk was going to come out while you were still pregnant more power to you 
But lastly, in this episode, I felt Snooky's pain when she said that she was like overwhelmed and she wasn't feeling good. Oh, you see, people don't. Well, I don't know if people care, but the last month, I mean, depending on the person, I'd say the last couple of months of pregnancy is no joke. It is no joke. Like, maybe the first six, seven months, they are a breeze, they aren't a breeze, or they're, like, not a breeze in the beginning, they're a breeze in the middle, not a breeze in the end. Like, mine was, mine was, like, a, um, it was terrible in the beginning. Then when I got to my second trimester, I was cool. By my third trimester, I was exhausted. So... I feel Snooky. She wasn't feeling well. She was crying. And it's just, it's a mess. And then you got the heat added on. Because me and Snooky was pregnant around the same time. And her due date was 12 days before mine. But she had her baby, like, you know, early. Me, MJ was not trying to come out. Like, honestly. If they didn't induce me, I think he would have still been in my belly till October honestly because he was not trying to come out and I wasn't getting I didn't get contractions I didn't feel anything when it came to him so I didn't feel nothing until they induced me until they broke my water that's when I felt it all but I didn't get contractions I didn't go into labor nothing it's just pelvic pains and exhaustion and just not having the energy so I felt I felt for Snooky I felt her pain. It made me go right back to when I gave birth for like towards the end of my pregnancy. So I felt so bad for her. But I know exactly what she was going through. I was here with you, Snooks. We was going through the same thing. <laughs> but yeah, so next episode is supposed to be her finally going into labor and giving birth to Lorenzo. So I can't wait to see that episode. Um like I said, I know these are bit of like late blogs I'm like maybe like a day or so late two days late but stuff happens and I had stuff to do but I'm still vlogging so let's see yeah I only vlog I only do the reviews on the shows Sunday Mondays and Tuesdays yeah so Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays are basically like a free-for-all for me. So what I said I'm going to do is start talking about some of the stuff, the ideas that I wrote down for titles. I'm going to start that this Friday. I'm going to continue my mommy hoods. And if you guys have any uh, other ideas, anything you'd like me to talk about, feel free to shoot me comments. I would love to, like, you know, hear your opinion. I say that in every vlog because, you know, I don't want people to feel like they, you know, they don't have to, they they can't comment or they don't, they're not allowed to have an opinion. I love hearing people's opinions. I'm very social, so, you know, hit me up, follow me on Twitter, add me on Facebook if you like, and I'll see you guys probably tomorrow or Friday whichever one so have a good night see you then bye